but he takes more heat than any other quarterback in the National Football League because he's the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. Now, the one thing that I will say is he's got nine years in. You kind of know who the dude is. You know what I'm saying? He's nine years in. Where are you going next year with him? I hear what you're saying, but here's the thing. Is it Dak Prescott or is it the system that we are dealing with? If we were winning playoff games and doing great things without Dak before and now all of a sudden we're not, then I'd say, okay, then it's definitely that guy because we used to do great things, but we ain't done great things for 29 years. And see, here's the thing. Let me ask you this. Let's take Trevor Lawrence's playoff win. He threw five TDs, five interceptions, four in the first quarter where they were down 27. And he's one and one, by the way. Right, the he's one and one. So they were down 27 nothing in the first quarter. Their defense only gives up three more points. They win 33-30, I think. So five TDs, five interceptions. Come back on the Chargers. Okay. So you look at that performance, and then you have Dak Prescott last year against Green Bay, three TDs, two interceptions, 400 yards. So was Trevor Lawrence's, because they won, you know, to Shady McCoy's point, that, well, wins are all that matter. Was Trevor Lawrence's performance good and Dak Prescott's bad? No. Or were they both bad? Those are team. This is what I think James Jones is pl- is, is is referencing. I'm going to play this for you here. And I'm, I'm sorry the volume is a little low here, but I want to play this here for you. This was on Speak for Yourself, and I'm going to play this here for you. Mm-hmm. That's that's where it goes back to. Now, I'm not going to say he's played great in the playoffs, although he did retire Tom Brady. He did pretty good against Russell Wilson. He actually went toe-for-toe his rookie year with three TDs and 304 yards against Aaron Rodgers. But, you know, when we don't have a linebacker and we can't stop the run, it's a team sport, bro. You know, you know you- what, though? You know, and, and, and I think there's two com- arguments to this, and I think it does defend because – you're not paid on winning Super Bowls in this league. Mm-mm. And here, I want to play. I mean, my, my, my Xander just said it right. So, the, why, are you, why are you seem stressed, G? Are we talking the player or are we talking the team success? The player. Sorry. That's There's important. nothing that Jalen Hurts does better than Dak Prescott at the quarterback spot, but the read option. He don't throw better than him, mm. he don't throw with anticipation better than him. Mm. I mean, this dude was 5,000 yards last year, led the NFL in touchdowns. Pat, there's nothing Jalen Hurts except running the read option and maybe the tush push that he does better than Dak Prescott. And I like Jalen Hurts, and Jalen Hurts is going to be a really good quarterback in this league. But Dak Prescott, at this point right now in the National Football League, does everything better than Jalen Hurts at that quarterback spot. Hmm. Does he win better? Is it a team goal or are we talking about a quarterback? Because I, I, I put winning on the team. Because you need defenses and all that. Oh, so oh, 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 how do you take that comment, Mark, I, as a Cowboy fan? Well, <laughs> because it made me think about this. Salaries are dictated on what you do with your numbers. And Kirk Cousins is the poster child for that. Oh, he's made okay? a fortune. I mean, he's not paid on winning. And he's made more money than any quarterback in the history of the National Football League, including Tom Brady. Um. You tell me. I mean, it, is Dak Prescott? Now, look, Dak plays a lot like Favre mm-hmm. in the postseason. Here's a Favre line. 350 yards, three touchdowns, two picks. Yeah. Three three touchdowns look good, and he plays a lot like Tony Romo. Yeah. They're a lot like each other in many ways. They'll make a spectacular play, and they'll make the boneheaded play. But sometimes they get bailed out. My problem comes down to this. 
when I look at Jalen Hurts, there's not a chance in hell I would build my team around Jalen Hurts over Dak Prescott. There's just no way. I can just sit here today. <laughs> okay. Well, no, but but here's the one thing that he does do better. What's that? He, okay. This guy knows how to, for whatever reason, make everyone better around him. I'll say something to you. Wait, wait, hang on here. He did not have a good year last year. Do we agree? I agree. He started turnovers. I agree. But watch this. Well, he made a $30 million um, A.J. Brown have a 15, almost 1,600-yard year. Yes. He had a guy on the other side with 1,200. There's a guy in Chicago now that just signed a contract who was on a one-year deal in DeAndre Swift, who the Lions gave up on, who just signed a three-year, $10 million per year million dollar a year deal he's made every guy around him successful did he struggle okay isn't the objective of that player to make everyone around you better that doesn't make everyone around him better bro one bro bro he's bro one guy better bro 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 but no I, that's where you're wrong because i can take um damn uh from green bay God, I'm I'm getting old and having brain farts. I'm hoping I'm not getting uh, dementia here. Um, shit, what running is back? It? No, wide receiver. He was with Green Bay. Um, he's free agent out Cobb? there right now. Yeah, Randall Cobb. Randall Cobb, 2014, 2015 was beasting. The last three years he was with Green Bay, his numbers plummeted. He was literally down to 400 some yards. Green Bay said, "See ya, we're done." He comes to Dallas, has almost 900 yards, six TDs, and gets a $27 million contract to go get Deshaun Watson to throw to him, where he reverts back to the 400 and some yard guy and proceeds to get cut, goes back with Aaron Rodgers and proceeds to have 400 some yards. You can take Des Bryant's yards per completion. His most by a yard was with Dak Prescott. You can take a guy like Alan Hearns, who ended up basically being just about off the NFL, comes to Dallas, has his career numbers. Everybody who then leaves typically, most of the time with the exception of um, Amari Cooper, just drops off the face of the earth. Amari Cooper was forced out because the salary cap in the 20 and million, they don't want to pay him. Well, they don't want to pay anybody. And I, I can go back to where you're saying, I'm not saying Jalen Hurts is a bad quarterback. I'm not saying that he's not making people better around him. The fact that he can run in the same way that RG3, running outside, you were so worried about him going to the house that the defenders are having to come up. If the defenders are coming up, I've got an easy pass to a wide open wide receiver. It's not like I've got to throw in a tight window. That makes the team better, that style of football. Me, but it's me, not let obtainable. Me let me say this to you, Mark. It's the other way around. A team makes him better. If he was so good, uh, the Eagles wouldn't have had a seven-game losing streak. I, 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 I get that, and yeah. I appreciate that, Trops. But I'll, I'll, I'll make this point to you, too, as well. You know, when I look at Dak Prescott, does he exude confidence, in your opinion, when it comes to winning a title? Or do you have a little more confidence when you're sitting around Hurts? I feel a little more confident around Jalen than I do around Dak. I don't Dak. I don't feel a champion. You do? Um, I don't feel like my team feels like a champion. You know what? You guys can get get excited because you're constantly looking at problems and you're trying to solve problems. It, let's be real here. This is not the '90s where the Cowboys had too deep on everything that with guys that could be starters. We go in with the bare minimum. We literally have an owner saying we're going to do more with less. We literally went to the playoffs without having a linebacker on the roster. The Your, your buddy Stephen Jones with, and his whole position flex of saying, you know what, we're going to take Tony Pollard and we're going to make him an every day down so back. you penalize Howie because he does his job? No, I'm, I'm not. I'm actually praising him. I'm handicapped because of my guy. You can't honestly look at the roster that the Eagles had on their offense and say it's the same as what Dak Prescott's working well, with. Well, let me throw this one at you. Who do you think is over or underachieved more in his job, Jalen Hurts or Dak Prescott? 